such a psychological component to this type of matchup. Corey, how can you get into an opponent's head? At this point, your opponent's had enough of your mind games. No simple pinfall would be satisfactory. There are no rules, no barriers, and no mercy. The question is, who can jump out in front for an early advantage? You have to do whatever it takes to keep your opponent down for the count. And they have to know there's no limit to what you're willing to do. And remember, as Corey said, no pinfalls here. Only one can stand victorious. Enable the counter. Oh, gripping the jaw. My goodness. That's insulting. He's returning fire. Oh, McIntyre. Just launched his opponent. Overhead, belly to belly. Enough already. Now that'll do some serious damage. Just like that, Paul finds a counter. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Oh, that's just insulting. Stomp right to the gut. Added pressure afterwards. Ugh. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. Byron, this is a punishing and grueling matchup. Is there something specific to help keep your opponent down? You have to gain the upper hand and continue to do the damage. You cannot give your opponent a chance to catch their breath. He paid for that one! Oh, man, big time. Look at this. Kneeling. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxon. You might get caught. Scoop slam. Wait, no. Wow. Outrageous strength on display. Crashing down with a vertical suplex. Catches the leg. Brought down with a DDT. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Mistake made by Logan Paul. Ah, oh, flipping the script on him there. Look at this. Oh, from the rope. McIntyre reverses and looks to capitalize. What the leg? Saw that one coming. Took advantage. He takes control. with malicious intent. while you can, everyone. Uh-oh, he's searching for something. Two, three, oh, boy, come on, not the chair. 
He's looking to take this fight to a whole new level. Absolutely no telling what's underneath the ring tonight. Count still climbing. We're up to seven now. Now, come on. This is just too much. I agree. The ref had already started to count. And sent right into the corner. Great presence of mind by McIntyre. Crafty way to get out of harm there. Ooh, tossed with the suplex. McIntyre looking to close out this matchup. Close line. Well, that'll leave a mark. Up right now, and that stops the ref's count. Now that is determination. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? Two. Three. Taking this match off the mat now. Look at the height. Oh, come on, really? It looks like they're not done inflicting punishment. Referee has to break the 10 count now. Well-delivered suplex. And we see him take yet on. The countdown is on, gentlemen. McIntyre, sight set. McIntyre might have him. Guess he didn't think that was enough. Striking while his opponent is still vulnerable. We are seeing a next level performance from these competitors tonight. They've shown a lot of resiliency. You have to give them that. And there's seven. This is not good. And he's up. Referee's 10 count broken. Looks like it's back to the drawing board. Rocked with the point of the elbow. Come on, the referee was counting. And this one might be headed ringside. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. From the top. And just like that, stopping the referee's count, continuing this match. Obviously has plans to add more insult to in. McIntyre setting up. Boom. Claymore kick. Logan Paul is done. That stops the count there. Better settle in for a long night, Saxton. He's back on his feet and ready to keep going, it looks like. He is looking to do some serious harm. Three. Four. Five. Six. Getting close to 10 here. Now you gotta dig deep. And that's it, he's the last man standing.